What is this guy doing? Take a look. Do you got a guess? We'll play along right now and find out and see if you could top the leaderboard. Your internet friend, Jersey Joe, back with you once again, ready to play more internet games. You know I love my online games, and those of you who follow me at JerseyJoe50 on Twitter and Instagram and all my social media know every Tuesday I put up a super zoomed-in photo, and you guys try to figure out what it is. And some of you have been quite successful and made it to the top of the leaderboard. Well, who's going to walk away winner this episode? Let's find out as we play What Is It Really? All right, our first pick. Who is this? I guess we should say, who is it really? Do you have a guess? Well, Starman guesses it's Kathy Lee Gifford. Jay City Picks guesses it's Vanna Orange. Jeremy Ray Frasca, like Professor Quirrell and Harry Potter, this is Voldemort's physical form, wherein he exists on the rear top of Donald Trump's head, underneath his obviously fake toupee. Quite the long answer on that one. Andy guesses it's Vanna White. April G702, Vanna White. Chris Dimondo, Vanna White on Wheel of Fortune. Other guesses, it's Wheel of Fortune's Vanna White. Jason York, Vanna White, who is now lighting up the letters in a studio without an audience because of the coronavirus. Did you tune in when she hosted? She was terrible. Joe Nolfi guesses Vanna White wearing a reddish gown with light colored little squares as a pattern. Looks like she has her hands crossed in front of her two, right hand over her left. Quite descriptive. Scooters McGavin, he too guesses Vanna White. Well, who is it really? Yeah, they figured it out. It's Vanna White. She's very good at turning those letters, but man, when she filled in for Pat Sajak, it was a shaky run of a hostess who's been there for how many years, right? All right, Vanna White's beautiful. She's great at turning letters. Let's not pick on her. Let's put some people up on the leaderboard. Annie Nixon goes up with one. April G702, Chris Tomando, Heather Ann McKee, Trask, Jason York, Joe Nolfi, and Scooters McGavin all got it right and score the first point. But we got four more picks to go, so let's turn over those like Vanna with the letters and find out who's playing next. Okay, this time we've got an object. But what really is this object? Do you have a guess? Or Richard Poole 2 says, eh, he has no clue. Keith Moran, it's COVID-19 breaking into my house. Vitamin D, white icing on a chocolate cake. Oh, succulent. Mike F325, Al Pacino Scarface snow shovel. Good United, current view of my heart and soul. Dave, the shape of an old Atari joystick angrily thrown through the wall after losing against a friend at combat. Guilty. Seth Mayo, hmm, egg carton. Alice Gavang Balonis, egg carton. Nicole Pipitone, broken paper egg carton. Brandy King, cup holder from fast food place. Cool Papa 654, I'll take a small, easier to carry, drinks too big these days. Heather, fast food cup holder from a fast food restaurant. Jason York, one of those cardboard drink and food carriers you see at a Penn's game. This looks like the drink side and it looks broken. Hope your beverage is safe. Joe Nolfi, an Arby's to go drink carrier. Kimberly, cup holder for takeout. Christina, definitely a drink carrier from McDonald's. Marcus Guy, coffee cup carton. The Poly NYC, one of those drink thingies. Todd, drink tray for takeout. And Trina Henry guesses the bottom of a cardboard drink carrier. Well, what is it really? Ah, they got it right. It is one of those cardboard drink cup holders. Environmentally safe, too. Don't spill your beverage because nobody wants that. They want their name up on the leaderboard, and they are. Brandy King goes up with one. Cool Papa 654 goes up with one. Heather McKee Trash, she goes to two. Jason York goes to two. Joe Nolfi, he goes to two. Calgoo, that's a hard name to say, but goes up on a board with one. Christina goes up with one. And Marcus Guy goes up with one. The Poly NYC goes up with one. Todd Nixon goes up with one. And Trina Henry scores one point. Lots of names at leaderboard now. It's filling up fast. Let's add some more names with picture number three. Ooh, what is it this time? Gotta guess? I know what it is because I took the picture. Well, what does it really do for a win on podcast guesses? It's Kalia as Kind's favorite. Cool Papa 654, the button that Sir Mix-a-Lot uses. You see, he likes them round and big. And when he's throwing a gig, he just can't help himself. He's acting like an animal. Now here's his scandal. He want you to go home and uh, double up. Uh, uh. Hashtag double up button. Hashtag my anaconda don't want none unless. A poem, okay. Or is it double up on video slots? There you go. Heather Anarchy Trask, video slot machine. 
Jim guesses his video slides. Joe and Olfie double up button on a video poker machine, possibly a double bonus poker machine. Michael guesses it's video poker. Mike Pirro, video gambling device. Nicole guesses it's a slot machine. Well, what is it really? Yes, it is a double up button on a video poker machine. I love video poker. And more specifically, I don't know how Joe figured it out, it is a double, double bonus poker machine. So he's gonna score a bonus on the leaderboard. Let's go. So Cool Papa 654 goes to two. Heather, she goes to three. J-F-I-N-U-C-A-N-E-O-8 goes up with one. Sorry about bumbling your name. Joe Nolfi scores the bonus though and skyrockets the four points. Magic Michael goes up with one. Mike Pirro one. Nicole Pipitone goes up on the board with one. Hmm. Hey, there's that dude again we saw at the top of the show. Do you have a guess what he really is? Well, Larry guesses the dude showing the cops where the body is. Todd says, look, officer, I found it right here. Mike F325, Clint Eastwood's replacement in the mule. Heather and McKee Trask, a gentleman trying to sell a car to a lady. Jason guesses a man in a showroom trying to sell a red hatchback. And Joe, he too guesses is showing a car at a car show. So what is it really? Yeah, he is a car salesman. Huh, one of the most least liked professions out there, right? Sorry, car salesman, no offense, but you guys are high pressure sometimes. Well, no pressure here, but we got a few names going off the leaderboard, and they are. Heather, she goes to four. Jason, he goes to three. And Joe, thanks to that bonus the last round, he goes all the way to five. Well, we got ourselves a game now, don't we? Well, we got one more pick left, so who's gonna walk away a winner? Let's find out. Well, now that every car salesman has clicked off this video because I tipped them off, it's just you and me trying to figure out what the heck is this picture? Gotta guess? Well, because Nicole guesses it's a tortilla. Joe Hemming Barbus, it's the moon. Or a block of wood. Burns Rotella guesses it's a pickle. Heather Amakee Trask, a dill pickle spear. Jason, yeah, it's one of those big dill pickles in a jar. Joe, agree with the majority, a pickle. Michael Sean Flaherty, a ditto, pickle. Spelled wrong. Mike F325 guesses it's a pickle. Mike Pirro, it seems we are caught in a pickle with this one. Nice, Mr. Bambi Kensington, pickle or one of our, well, what? Some kind of tentacles. All right, I don't know if that's spelled right, but I blew it. Nicole, she guesses it's a pickle. Rachel Turok, um, a pickle. Just what I got myself into. Trina guesses it's a pickle as well. And Woody Jr., 67, who spelled it correctly and guesses a pickle. Yeah, you know what it's really, it is a pickle. Super zoomed in, succulent, tasty, fun. Yes, it's a pickle. What more can we say? We can say a lot of names are going on the leaderboard, so who's gonna walk away winner? Let's find out right now. So Burns Rotella, she's going up on the board with one. Heather McKee Trask, she goes to five. Jason York, he goes to four. Joe Nolfi, wow, he goes to six. Michael Sean Flaherty goes up on the board with one. Mike F325 goes up on the board with one. Mike Pirro goes to two. Mr. Bam Kennington goes up on the board with one. Nicole, she goes to two. Rachel Tarrock goes up on the board with one. Trina Henry, she goes to two. And Woody Jr. 67 goes up on the board with one. That means with six big points, thanks to scoring that bonus, Joe Nolfi has won the game in this edition Oh, what is it really? Joe and Jason have been fighting hard at this game to get up on that final leaderboard. So now Joe gets another point on that final leaderboard. That means Heather's up there with one. Jason's at three. Joe ties Jason at three big wins. Luke, Rock for Guitar, and Warlock Weirdo all have one big win respectively. Wow, that is quite the finale there. You couldn't have scripted this thing. So you want to get in the game? Remember, every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern on my Jersey Joe 50 Twitter and Instagram feed, I post a super zoomed in photo. All you got to do is tell me what it is, and you can get in on this game too. It's for fun. I love games. Remember, click that like or subscribe button down below because there's lots more games and lots more fun on the big Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Hey, thanks all for playing once again on What Is It Really? Lots more fun here ahead, and uh, I'll see you next time, I hope.